back in my garden and um, beautiful um, finish of the week with the sunshine. We're just under the shade of this huge cherry tree. And uh, we've filled up two more ton bags so far. Got rid of about five more in the last couple of weeks and then just starting on this one now. Um, they've got a couple of um, ton bags from a relative and then a couple back more from, from one of the customers that I'd um, used ton bags on and they'd, they'd um, they'd ended up taking them to the, the tip or so getting rid of them and they got me some more so anyway we've got probably about five normal sized ton bags that we can use now and fill up and we're going to get rid of this so Steve's done an incredible job cleaning this uh, clearing this as well so this was just full of ivy and, and coming out to about here if you remember you can look on, back on previous videos to see what it's like, really overgrown. But we're going to bring down this tree now. This one in front of us, it's just absolutely hanging with ivy. And um, just a bit in the way really. Not really serving any function. But there's, there's trees back there that we're going to keep. Um, and some that we're going to thin out. And it looks like we're going uphill onto a bit of a bit of a rubble pile really a bit of a soil and rubble pile so we'll see how it goes and see what we uncover I think That's a big lump. <laughs>
there we go so that's come down uh, we'll tidy up the trunk and we'll leave a bit of length on it as well just so it'll help get the roots out when we decide to go for the roots uh, but it's, it's pretty solidly in there it's not just going to pull out so we'll have to excavate around the roots and take an axe to them and see if we can get them out and uh, getting there toward the back just going to chop this up get it in the tun bag and see what else we can do This is ivy. This ivy stem. Oh. That there's a pretty solid ivy root.
hard to pull out that one. Okay, so, oh, I need to, oh, hay fever's getting me now. I'm going to start to, <coughs> oh, start to bring this one down. So it's, it's there and tracks down here. Um, that was right in the middle of everything. So we're basically looking at some pretty, yeah, they're not very attractive looking bare branches really and it's just got a bit of growth at the top it's not going to be adding anything to the garden um, there wasn't a huge amount of wildlife going on in here because the monoculture of the ivy had just choked everything so I think anything we're going to be doing here will be improving the things and we can certainly think about what we might plant or what we might use this area for in the future. Um, so I'll start to bring this big one down then. Laurel on our side that's growing mostly over the neighbor's side. Yeah, 
A couple of branches off this and some of them are even completely dead, these branches, but we found a lovely thing behind it that we'll almost certainly be keeping and it's got yellow flowers. Can you see it? I'll see if I can get you close. Uh, I've got you on the tripod so I'm just going to hold the tripod out. Can you see it? The most beautiful thing. I've um, got no idea what it is. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. But it's got the most beautiful yellow flowers and it does look like it's giving us some really good cover at the back of the garden that I was worried we would lose when we took down this tree. So we're just taking our time and really thinking about it uh, and just taking things down very slowly when I'm absolutely sure that it's the right thing to do. So I'll we'll continue taking this down there is a bit of a a gap behind it and then we'll see what's what's happening So it's quite a big branch to come down. You can see there's only a bit of growth on the very end. And then just all of this trunk, it's just a little bit of ivy still, ivy going up into it. And um, just cleaning down the trunk so it's easier to get rid of with the, the loppers.
that's chopped up a bit more. So we'll be able to get it in the bags easier, but we're producing a lot of waste now. So I'll keep going on the next branch.
another branch. Okay, get in there. go so we're starting to see through to one side just trying to think what some of these things look like uh, so a bit of a gap in the fence now just through there in the middle but we're not going to be overlooked by any windows it seems and it does look like the neighbor's got a pretty high back fence which is fantastic um, but longer term, we will have to work out, you know, how to maintain that cover, I think, without being too exposed. But I, th I think, yeah, just, just this coming down is going to be okay. Just another, well, another one, two, one main branch, and then a couple of little limbs that can be sort of snipped off, I think. One small branch there. 
and we'll see what it all looks like and, and we'll be able to see through to that that sort of tree or big bush that's sort of growing with the incredible yellow flowers behind it bring you a bit closer Yeah. It's interesting. So I'll show you this thing behind it. So this, if we have a look at the top, that's where it's sort of raced for the light and there's green growth and nice flowers but if you if you see down here this is just a, a dead branch this one but interestingly if you can see what I can see it's got loads of new growth coming from right in the core of the tree so that's fantastic news so we're going to have to have a think about this one but if we cut this tree back to its core it could regrow beautifully uh, now that it's got all this light and it will certainly solve this gap in the in the, in the hedge problem cool and we can start to see through here where Steve's been doing some clearing today uh, sort of around this so if we have a look at what this is oh yeah it's it's a bush it's completely fallen down but survived and it looks like it's thriving under here see its new growth for this year the different lighter color at the end there so it's already put on a bit of new growth ah there's the laurel in there that'll be okay that's our cover that's right on the fence and there's a good branch down here and that is going to start to really grow but the rest of it is going over to next doors so we, we would be at their mercy if they wanted to cut that off they could um, there's something behind that as well that looks interesting and then if we can see through there all the way through there at the back there's a Dalek and that's the back of the garden so we're getting there So a little bit of a rubble pile down there it seems and this thing here is an absolute monster it's god it's dropped down a bit in places that's going to be a conundrum let's do with this thing Got, it's got really nice flowers from the look of it up there. That's very high up. And then still 
and a little bit of overgrowth to get through. You can see those white pipes back there, that's the that's where we're storing a bit around the side. So if I take you through the back now and have a look, it's becoming a bit more clear. So that's where we're getting up to. So we've still got one of these conifer things at the end, just a small one. Don't think we'll need to maintain that. We do have a bit of cover at this very back fence, so we're not too bad at all. Oh, and I hadn't even noticed these big conifer trees, giving us a little bit of cover at the bottom. And then we've got this. This is a different laurel to what I showed you. This is actually, the, the stem is over on our neighbour's side. And so we've got cover coming over on our side that we can control, which is a good thing. And there you can kind of see through from the dialects further up there to where Steve's cleared. So we're making ways. I'm seeing there's a bit of a soil pile here and it goes downhill down there. And those are the pipes we could see through the white pipes from the other side. So getting there, but still. A little bit of overgrowth to get through. So we'll carry on. Okay, so here we are. We've gotten even deeper into this bit and there's something really odd um, and a bit of a pickle about these trees. It's not what I thought. So this, this thing in here is actually some sort of fruit tree. And, and it is sprouting in the middle, so it, it'll need to be chopped back to its core so it can grow out again. Because I'll show you why. It's not this yellow thing at the top. It's this thing that's grown really leggy and out to the side. So it's grown all the way along there, along there, along there. And then there's the green growth. So look at it. It's got some flowers just about to come out and there's, there's some out here and I'm, I'm really not sure what it is because it's got the it's got a few flowers coming from sort of one one area well soon I mean well we would soon know if I left it um, and so this beautiful yellow flowering bush it's, um, here we go, there's some close down. Absolutely beautiful. It's coming from in here. It's coming from this thing. This is its stem. And it's sending out all these shoots. And it is growing out from its stem, so that's a new shoot coming directly from its stem quite far down. So all the way down here we've got two fresh new shoots. Uh, another one down there, oh, just snapped it. But then another one down here and down there. So. This looks dead, this bit, but this part of it is fine. And then it's got another branch, quite a big one here. But it is sort of flopping over to next door and there's not a lot to it. It's uh... And then in amongst the two, the fruit tree, yellow flowering bush tree, this is a quite, quite an established laurel. But a lot of it flops over to the neighbours because that's where it would have been getting the light. But it'll be getting more light from, from this side now. And then there's this thing that's sort of flopped down. You can see its stem and its trunk. But I really like the look of it and the shape. I'm really enjoying that. In fact, it, it just looks perfect as it is. Um, the only possible disadvantage is that it's, it's taking, it's come so far away from the border, but 
it's, it's level with that just about so we'll have to see um, it, oh look there's a circular stone what is that it's a stepping stone ah wonder if there's any more it's just on its own wonder if there's going to be any more in here so we've got a circular stone and then curved curb stones and then there are rocks there's a little robin in there don't know if you can see him but he's been flying around there we go so rocks around the trees they've made it into a bit of a rockery there are a lot of rocks elsewhere in the garden actually in some of the borders um, so rocks down here and we've still got a little bit of a ways to clear through um, I'm just really carefully thinking how I'm going to prune that fruit tree and what on earth to do about the the, the tree above it and then this thing in here it's just sort of flopping down um, over here so some of these branches are almost on the floor in there or at a sort of 20-30 degree angle and there's the Daleks through there at the back of the garden and it just looks like a little bit of a, a mountain and a pile of rubble and soil there through there so a bit more clearing to do but really happy with the progress so far and I'll show you all the waste that we've come out with so we've got this it's a small tun bag uh, that's half full third full and then we've got all these so one two three four reasonably big tun bags this is a, a smallish one this is a, a good size it's quite heavy that one and then these are uh, not filled to the top because they've got quite a lot of wood in them and, and just testing their weight they're heavy enough so <laughs> got five ton bags of, of waste to get through again and um, that's it for now we'll see you see you soon <laughs>